Arms control, disarmament, and non-proliferation are essential to build a safer, more secure world and to protect people from harm. The world is uh, undergoing a lot of challenges and profound political, societal security changes and uh, rebuilding trust and confidence among states is our top priority in the OSCE and searching for new opportunities for cooperation. Strengthening the participation of youth in these processes, particularly women, has been widely recognized to be an important and positive aspect of the maintenance and promotion of peace and security. Even though there is a direct link between women's participation in peace and security processes, women are routinely underrepresented in these settings. Education and training opportunities play a crucial role to empower young people to be a force for change. Disarmament initiatives have been most successful when they involve effective partnerships. The second edition of the Scholarship for Peace and Security, a joint OSCE-UNODA initiative, supported early career professionals by providing knowledge about conflict prevention, management, and resolution through arms control, disarmament, and non-proliferation. In order to be taken seriously and to be heard, no matter what gender or age you are, you need to bring value and expertise to the table. Ensuring equal, full, and effective participation by women and men in disarmament and arms control decision-making processes can lead to more inclusive, effective, and sustainable policy outcomes. We are actually the actors of change, and uh, we are the ones that need to work um, towards achieving those goals for peace and security and to not give up our hopes uh, despite these relatively green times. 90 women and 10 men received scholarships through the initiative in 2019. The training course consists of an online course and in-person training held in Vienna. Participants connected with each other through workshops and visits to Vienna-based organizations. They learned about disarmament and development through case studies and lectures. I think it's very important to empower women, not only because we're half of the population obviously on this planet, but also we bring different perspectives, different experiences, different backgrounds to the table, and I think that's what matters. The course highlighted the link between disarmament and development and the road towards achieving the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. This training course has been an absolute fantastic learning opportunity to really learn from the experts in the field, make meaningful connections, build my network in this area, and it's one of the key takeaways for me for this course. Securing our common future through the Secretary General's Agenda for Disarmament involves new and decisive action. Understanding the role of disarmament measures in preventing major war and armed conflict and violence is key. I hope that Inter alia, through the uh, disarmament agenda, we can bring disarmament back to the center of the United Nations and that we can start anew and restore what is being abandoned at this moment. We seek to further engage uh, as much as possible the younger generation. It is very promising. There is a lot of potential out there and I understand from the feedback that we gathered that uh, younger people are ready to engage and to, to commit into making this world a better place. I welcome this initiative which contributes to creating a greater community of experts among women which then will have the more opportunities to, to contribute, to develop their careers in this area. Disarmament measures contribute to sustainable development, upholding humanitarian principles and protecting civilians. Through this training, the OSCE and the UNODA have supported the training of a new generation of leaders in the international community's efforts for building a safer world for all. Expanding minds for peace and development.